What's up, YouTube? I'm in a different location so I can tune in for The Walking Dead tonight because I ain't got cable at my place, all right? Not the current time. But anyway, we're going to dive into the album review for the uh, seventh studio album from Mr. Kanye West himself, The Life of Pablo. I'm still not so sure about the, the name. I mean, I know it probably is a Picasso thing, but the, the name just... I think it's like Napoleon Dynamite or something. Like if, no, if someone asked Napoleon Dynamite, hey, what do you think Kanye's next album's going to be called? He'd probably be like, it's going to be called... You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I love Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Yeezus Man himself. This is uh, my favorite favorite album from him uh, currently. I just, I, fucking, I just love this fucking thing. So let's uh, dive in and... Um, We'll see what I think. All right, so uh, ultralight beam. I, I thought I thought it was uh, I thought it was I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. It's so weird. Uh, I mean, this is like legit. Like, if you ever wanted to know what a gospel song from Kanye Kanye West would sound like, uh, this is it. I mean, this sounds like a song that would be playing in like a huge arena. Of like one of those mega churches owned, owned by like Joel Osteen or something like that. Like it's it's so bizarre what the chorus is and um, you know the the women at the back half of the song being like faith safe war. I, I think a highlight on here is Chance the rapper. I mean Chance definitely went in with the lyrics. You know his foot on the on the devil's neck. Uh, the sign, uh, the line about Sia, fucking, uh, there was one part where he was riffing, paying a little tribute to Kanye, flow, flow-wise, um, from that Watch the, Th he was making, paying homage to, uh, Watch the Throne, um, with, uh, what was it, uh, Tubman of the other ground, come and follow the trail, I made Sunday candy, I'm never going to hell, I met Kanye West, so I'm never going to fail, very nice, Mr. Chance. He 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 just came off a little bit awkward, you know, vocally speak, speaking. But um, like when he was like, what was he saying? Um, fuck, where is it? Treat the treat the demons just like Pam. We'll wop the band. A little bit, a little bit awkward. But um, I thought I thought the track was okay. You know, not crazy about it. Uh, that was that was unexpected. Track number two, uh, Father Stretch My Hands, part one. Um, I definitely love the bass line. It's like, whoom, whoom. very just static -y and, um, uh, Kid Cudi was cool here. Um, you know, it, it, it just seems like Kanye, Kanye just calls up Kid Cudi. It was like, I need your vocals, man. I need your vocals now. Ha! Huh? But it's cool. I thought, I thought Kid Cudi was fine. Um, Kanye, I, I really like this little, uh, hook, um, you know, just want to feel liberated. I, I like, I, I, I like that. Like, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. You know, the track sounds fresh. Um, I'm not crazy about the track, but it's, it's good. You know, um, <laughs> the standout line though is now if I fuck this model, she just got her, uh, her, she just bleached her asshole. Okay, so part two to Father Stretch My Hands. Okay, this song is fucking awesome we are in awesome territory finally um you know the first two tracks you know i probably give them like a i don't know like a seven out of seven out of ten each or something but this track is what i would give in an eight out of ten to holy fuck there's definitely some kind of uh what a time to be alive influence on here the mixtape with uh, drake and future most definitely um to be honest i almost thought that this designer person was future but uh man this track goes in uh, just from an instrumental point of view and lyrically the, z the designer dude just really just sounded like future to be totally honest with you um but uh the the first verse from kanye was just all kinds of colorful uh just so many uh, you know um if you ask lost my soul driving fast lost control off the road jaw was broke remember we all was broke remember i'm coming back uh, just I, I love that first um, verse and uh, I really I really dig this track and uh, and the abrupt ending the outro how can I find you who do you turn to sounds like uh, influence from Imogen Heap uh, her track hide and seek but uh, 
I like this track. I feel like an 8 out of 10 on this motherfucking track. Yo! So, track number 4, Famous, uh, featuring Rihanna and Swiss Beats, just ended. And uh, I thought this track was, was good. Um, I thought that Rihanna just fit weirdly. and She just... The transitions to her moments just felt a little bit bizarre to me, uh, sonically speaking. But um, I, I thought this track... I thought, I thought it was nice, you know, it had a nice beat. I mean, the most noteworthy th thing from the lyrics here. Well, first off, Kanye, he's just, just him, just flexing the old ego. I mean, Kanye is just full-blown feeling like he, 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 you know, jumped over uh, Jumpman probably while whilst writing this. But uh, the whole, the Taylor Swift line, um... I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why I made that bitch famous? I, honestly, it's it, it's a hell of a line. <laughs> Would I have said it? No, nah, if I was him. But hey, uh, you know he's trying to make heads turn, and he he did it. I don't know why people are getting so upset about it. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, he's a rapper at the end of the day, you know, kind of like when Eminem said the, I'll punch Lana Del Rey right in the face, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, it's just, it, the rappers, you know, they're trying to offend you, son. Like, it's 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 not that big of a deal. Not to me, personally. Um, I love the bomb, bomb, dinner. Referencing Nina Simone again. I thought the track was cool. You know, probably give it like 7 out of 10. It was, it was fun. This is definitely going to be one of my favorites. Uh, track number 5, Feedback. I love this fucking track, man. This sounds like vintage, awesome Kanye. Um, I love the that weird synth uh, dancing around in the background. Uh, just gets just gets the track this this weird like like grimy feel. And I I love the hook. Uh, hey, y'all heard the good news? Y'all sleeping on me, huh? Had a good snooze? Wake up, nigga, wake up! I I love that. I think that's fantastic. Um, I can just visualize him like shouting these lyrics in in my in, in my mind. I love verse verse two. I love the self awareness of verse two. I, I think it's just fantastic. And uh, you know, uh, in verse three, you know, follow um, name one genius that ain't crazy. I thought that was a really cool line. I mean, I was just like rocking by that point. Wait, woo! What? Verse verse four was fucking dope. I I loved the little little poke at, at uh, Gotham. Um, man, uh, yeah, this track did not interest me in the slightest. Um, it's just it's just someone speaking. A woman it sounds like she's. It sounds like Kanye West. It's like dressed as a priest and he's holding out the mic and he's like, and this woman's like, like giving the testimony. Okay, so track number seven, Highlights, just ended. I feel like every time Lights is in the fucking title, we should just know it's going to be fucking awesome. I mean, this track is like just a fucking club banger. I mean, it, it sounds like it could have been on this bitch, you know what I'm saying? I mean, wow, this shit is fucking fantastic. Um, I just love the stomping fucking beat, you know what I'm saying? I was just like... <laughs> Hell Jesus. Yep, you guys should know how I feel about Young Thug at the current time. And uh, I didn't, didn't even mind his presence on here. Um, the opening verse from Kanye was just like, whoa, pow, out of the fucking gate. Uh, the Ray J line, fuck. Um, him just feeling souped up, like in Super Saiyan mode on this shit. Uh, really great first verse. Um, damn, that first verse he went in. I mean... The, the the equinox um uh, shout outs that he gave like during that that little section of the of rhyming i was i was head banging so hard i forgot where i was um and um i love the 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 ending of this the oh lord oh lord just it just sounds incredible also um, like, before uh, the first verse, there's this, like, uh, the synth or this noise that was panning over here that was just, like, it was... I swear this designer dude just sounds like fucking future. Um, but, uh, track number eight, Freestyle 4, um, I definitely enjoyed it, uh, but it, 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 it's, it's weird. Like, it sounds like a fucking horror movie. Um, you remember the, the music video that Kanye made for, uh, Monster with, you know, Jay-Z, him, and 
Nicki Minaj. Um, I, I sort of see imagery like that. Like, if this was a music video, I feel like there'd be, like, dead bodies and vampires and shit. Um, Kanye sounds like like he smoked a massive blunt or he was really drunk when he made this track. But, um, uh, especially on parts like, um, <laughs> what the fuck right now? What the, what the fuck right now? What if we fuck right now? Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so track number nine just ended, I Love Kanye, which is just an acapella of Kanye. It's just vocals, man. It's just him talking. No music or nothing. Just him fucking being like, <laughs> I missed old Kanye. Straight from the go, Kanye. Like, him just repeat, repeatedly referencing himself was actually pretty funny. It's almost like, okay, you remember when um, Shia LaBeouf, when he had that video with him in the green screen, and he was just like, just do it! I feel like there's a similar thing here where like Shia was hoping that people would use that video of him and take the green screen and put like different images of like Predator or Star Wars or whatever in the background and make parodies. I feel like Kanye uploaded this because like he wants people to like 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 throw an instrumental on the back or like um do remixes with this a cappella. You know what I'm saying? And I do love the and I love you like Kanye Kanye loves Kanye. Yeah. Ah Alright, so I just finished Waves and um I, I thought it was I thought it was okay. The, uh, 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 the, those fucking vo <laughs> those those vocals in the background, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it were interesting. Um, him and Chris Brown are uh, going in. Chris Brown with his you know ways don't die. I don't know. I mean the track is all right. It's okay. I mean it's nothing to like. I did I did like when um, those pan panning effects of those. Of vocals being like, hey, or uh, turn it up. Um, I thought the track was okay. I don't think you need to delay the album because of this track, but track number uh, 11 is uh, FML featuring The Weeknd. Um, this is another favorite for me, most definitely. Um, feeling like an easy, uh, probably 8 out of 10 on this track, but I, this track seems like a grower, something I need to let marinate in my mind more and more. Um, I think I'll like it more and more as I listen to it, but uh, I, I love the the opening here with uh, Kanye. It almost seems like he's giving himself some self-reflection um, and kind of um, speaking towards uh, Kim as well, as his children. And um, <clears throat> I, I really like The Weeknd on, on the hook here. <laughs> I love the line... Um, yeah, because I'm from a tribe called Chekaho. <laughs> and I love the, the bass, uh, how the bass, like, the sub-bass resonates on you um, after that line and The weekend comes in again on the hook. Uh, and the holy fuck, the outro is all kinds of weird. It reminds me sort of like of, uh, like, some vocals from Crystal Castles a little bit. Um, yeah. I really like this track a lot. Track number 12, uh, Real Friends. Um, I've already done a, a video on this, uh, so check the description box, check the comment section down below if you want to see uh, my in-depth thoughts on Real Friends. But uh, another favorite, 9 out of 10 uh, track. Uh, I love this track. Okay, track number 13 just ended, and what the fuck? I mean, the song is, is still really cool. But, like, I, I think the original version was way better with, uh, I don't understand why he cut, um, Vic Mensa and Sia from the fucking, the track. I mean, I felt like those two and Kanye made Wolves, like, a classic, uh, instant classic, uh, Kanye track. So, I'm really disappointed. I mean, I still like this track. I thought Frank Ocean fit fine, but I, I think the original version, um, was better. I mean, Vic and Sia, they, they fit so well on here. Damn. Whatever, but am, am, am I the only one who thought of, uh, Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four? Track number 15, 30 Hours. Uh, this track was cool. Um, it, it, it sounds like a track 
that uh, like I imagine like Kanye literally making that trip to you know Chicago and St. Louis like in the car, cool breeze, summer, blue skies. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was sort of the, it sounds like a summer song that you should. Uh, drive out drive around with um there's definitely a lot of references back to a, an old ex it seems um and the best line for me is my ex says she gave me the best years of her life i saw a recent picture of her i guess she was right <laughs> fuck <clears throat> Okay, track number 16, No Parties in L.A., featuring Kendrick Lamar. I've already given um, my thoughts on this track, but uh, definitely a huge favorite for me. Uh, fucking Kanye, Kanye outdid Kendrick, lyrically, I think, on his best, on the whole album here. Uh, nine, uh, 9 out of 10 track. Check the description box, comment section down below if you want to see my full thoughts on this uh, track. Okay, track number 17, uh, Facts. I've already done a video on Facts. Uh, this version is a little bit different. The production is more like, oh, you know. <laughs> but uh, uh, check the description box. Check the comment section down below um, if you want to see some in-depth thoughts of what I thought of Facts. Other than that, I um, wasn't really feeling Facts. It's... Oh, it's kind of whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I definitely like the instrumental um, on the final track, which is Fade, uh, which is definitely just a nice, groovy... It feels like the only purpose of the song Fade is to get people to start dancing. Um, and I thought it was a good track. Interesting place to end off at, but a good track nonetheless. And uh, I'm finished, son. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Finished with the seventh album from uh, Mr. West himself. Um, oh, boy. This was a doozy. I mean, let me go through my favorite tracks here. Or the tra tracks that I like the most. Um, I definitely liked... Uh, Track number three, Father Stretched My Hands, part two. Thought it was a, just a fucking banger. Um, track number five is a huge favorite of mine. Feedback, I absolutely love this track. Um, track number seven, Highlights, even though it's featuring Young Thug, uh, another favorite. I love this track, Standout. Um, track 11, FML uh, featuring The Weeknd. I, holy shit, this... Is so good and the outro this shit is so bizarre but um definitely a track that i think i'm gonna uh, keep going back to a lot um let me see here track number 12 uh real friends i think real friends <clears throat> at the current time is my favorite track period on the project um you know track number Number 13, Wolves, is a, it will probably be second, only because I think the original version of Wolves is so much better with Sia and Vic on there. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why is Wolves not its original version? I thought the original version was way better. If the original version was on here, I probably would have said that was my favorite track, period. But at the current time, um, it's definitely Real Friends. Real Friends is just so memorable, and uh, it just gives me goosebumps, man. Like, uh, I, I almost imagine Kanye, if this were a music video, Kanye would be revisiting the ruins of uh, uh, the place that held the, the piano in the Runaway um, short film that he made, you know, to make this track. I mean, I just fucking, I love Real Friends. Um, but this version of Wolves is a... You know, I like it. You know, it's a favorite. Um, and uh, track number 16 uh, is my last favorite. No parties in L.A. Uh, Kanye went in lyrically uh, like a fucking boss. Outdid Kendrick. And just I uh, love the production. It's just, it's just awesome. And um, those are all of my favorites. Well, I definitely... I, I, I guilty pleasurely really liked uh Jesus for sure definitely liked Jesus but um it just it, Jesus felt rushed and um like not too much care and time went into it um and I definitely like 
this album more than Yeezus. You know, Yeezus, I would probably give like a 7 out of 10. Um, this is my favorite album. My favorite album by Mr. Kanye. Uh, a nice fresh 10 out of 10 for this. But for uh, The Life of Pablo, um, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to go with an 8 an 8 out of 10. Uh, the tracks that I listed I really like and everything else is uh, is interesting to say the least. It's it's good not like horrific or bad or anything they're, they're good. They're good tracks but um, overall uh, I, I, liked, I liked this project. I, I'd probably give it an um, 8 out of 10. What do you think about this album? Let me know, uh, you know your thoughts.